I think detours take all kinds of shapes and sizes, but at some basic level, they all have the one thing in common, which is we didn't expect them to happen. For me, what has been the biggest detour uh, of my recent days has been the fact that my wonderful mother, a 90-year-old woman uh, who had been just really thriving, I mean, living alone, driving, cooking, uh, you know, holding dinner parties every other night, uh, bridge club, teaching Sunday school, just an incredibly vibrant woman that pulled in everybody around her, that really was sort of showing us and everyone around her what it means to live a life that is rich and that is fulfilling um, and that is just a joy uh, to be around. And this wonderful, capable, competent mother of mine then became very sick and got pneumonia. She ultimately had a heart event that left her with congestive heart failure. Uh, she then got infection after infection, hospital stay after hospital stay and ultimately decided um, in early June that she'd had enough of being alone uh, during this COVID time and wanted to come home for home hospice care. I don't think I ever thought I would be with someone when they genuinely felt death. She one night in the dark after she's been unresponsive, I mean, really unresponsive for hours, um, I mean, still breathing, still alive, but not responsive. And then all of a sudden, at two or three o'clock in the morning, comes this voice, Jennifer. You do not need to fear death. I can see it. I can see it. I can tell you it is warm. It is welcoming. It's colorful. It's beautiful. You do not need to be afraid. I will be okay, and you will be okay. And I realized that God had taken me on this detour to be in that moment with my mother, to share those moments with her in a way that I think God is doing what God does in detours, which is give us a chance to really sense a restoration of our own sense of hope and of trust in God. And it was amazing for me to be there for that um, and to be in that room with her, to be there for those nights. I think I felt that I would always have her kind of watching over me, um, always there as someone I could turn to, and that she would always be there as kind of a guidepost uh, for, for where you ought to be headed. And I wasn't ready to feel I'd lost all of that. The one that is, that is blazing the path for you is now gone, and you're standing there on the trail with nowhere, no way to go. And that to me really did make me think about this whole idea in Exodus about the detour, where, again, God's people are sort of left there on the trail. Uh, and the question is, where, which way do you go? How do you turn? Uh, and where you really do have to say, you can trust in God. You can turn it over to God, and God will be watching over you. <laughs>